Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek, and in this video, we are going to create this creative text reveal animation in After Effects. So, before I begin, if you guys are new here, then please consider subscribing and make sure to press that bell icon so that you never miss another amazing video like this. So, without wasting any further ado, let's jump into After Effects and get started. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and it's freezing cold outside. So, first, we are going to create a new composition. So let's call this main and width and height will be 1920 by 1080 frame rate 30 fps and duration you can go with 10 seconds just click on ok now we have our composition so we are going to create a solid so you can just simply right click go to new solid and let's make this a little bit of off white color something like this and we can probably change its name to bg for background just click on ok now we have our background so our next step is to add some text. So you can select the text tool. Now I'm using this Mont Strat font or Mont. Okay, I'm using this font. So you can choose whatever font you want. It's totally up to you. Now you can type whatever text you want. I'm typing creative. And let's just simply select this and I'm going to change it to extra bold. Or maybe like black. Yeah, I think this looks good. So let's select the text and we can align it in the center of this composition using this align panel. Again, if you are not able to see this panel, then you can go to windows and from here you can enable it. So now let's make sure that its anchor point is in the center. So you can select the layer and then hold down the control key or command key if you are on Mac. Then you can simply double click on this icon and it will make the anchor point in the center. So now we have our text and our next step is to add some shapes. So we can probably first select the text and let's scale this down something like this. Yeah, I think this looks good. So let's select the rectangle tool. And now I'm going to draw a rectangle shape. So first let's click on this fill and set the fill to none. And after that, I'm going to change the stroke width to something like five. And now let's simply click and let's draw a rectangle. So just make sure that it's in the center just like this and we can probably select this and increase its stroke. Yeah, I think 10 looks good. So this looks perfect. So you can probably select this and then search for size and you can uncheck these parameters and then play around with its size. So I think this is looking fine. So now we are ready to animate this. So first I'm going to add a keyframe. So this is going to be a final size. So let's add a keyframe and let's go to somewhere around one second. And in the beginning, I want the X value to be at zero. And also in the very beginning, I want the Y value to be at zero as well. Now we are going to animate its position as well. So let's select the layer, press P for position and let's add a keyframe. Now you can select the layer, press U to reveal all the keyframes and let's move this position to this keyframe because this is going to be our final position and in the beginning I want my shape to be at this side. So now if I play back here you can see that we have this sort of animation which is looking good. Now we are going to add some rotation to this but we are not going to add rotation to the shape layer. Instead we are going to create a new null object and then we are going to select this and let's parent this to the null object and now I'm going to press R for rotation and let's add a keyframe and let's go in the beginning and I'm going to rotate it to something like this. So here you can see that we have this sort of animation. We can probably move the keyframes further apart just like this. So now we are pretty much done with the animation. So let's play with some easing. So I can probably select the keyframes, press F9 to easy step. And you can go in the graph. And if your graph looks different, then make sure you are in the edit speed graph. Just like the endpoint. And let's change the graph to look something like this. Yeah, so I think this is looking good. Now let's play around with these parameters as well. So first let's select these keyframes, then press F9 to ease them. And then let's 
select the endpoint and move it to something like this. Also, let's select this one and press F9. I'm going to select only these two keyframes. So let's move this to be something like this. So here you can see that we have created this sort of animation and we can probably play around with the placement of these keyframes. So you can just play around with the position. Yeah, so I think this is looking good. So let me just quickly change the easing to something like this. So yeah, I think this is looking much better. So we are pretty much done with the animation. So now let's do one more thing. Let's select this and let's parent this to the null as well. So that you can see that it is rotating as well. But before that, let's press P for position and let's add a keyframe. And I'm going to quickly animate it. So let's move it to something like this. And in the beginning, let's move it to somewhere around here. You can probably select the keyframes, then press F9. And for these ones, let's change the curve to look something like this. And let's go back. Now you can select the keyframes and then just move it something like this. We can probably move it somewhere around here. Now you will notice that the text is visible outside this square box. So we are going to fix that. So let's select the shape layer, then press Ctrl D to duplicate it. And now I'm going to place one of these above the text layers. And on this shape layer, we are going to enable the fill. So you can just enable it and select whatever color you want. Stroke, let's set this to zero. And let's select the text. And after that, we are going to change its track mat. So if you are not able to see this track mat option, you can click over here. And after that, let's change this to alpha mat. So now you can see that our text is visible only where we have this shape layer. So now we can play around with the keyframes. So let's move it somewhere around here. So yeah, I think this is looking good. So we have our text animation. Now let's add our secondary text. So let's select this and you can type whatever you want. Again, okay, let's select the keyframes and I'm going to select a different font. So let's make this bold and let's probably decrease its scale down. Just align it. We can change its anchor point in the center. So select this, double click just like this and we can probably move it down below. Yeah, so I think this is looking good. So let's select this, press P for position and let's add a keyframe. And in the beginning, we want this to be somewhere around here. So let's select again, easy ease, then just change the graph so that we have some sort of animation like this. And now again, we are going to hide this using the shape layer. So just duplicate this and just make sure that it's fill is set to full. Let's remove the stroke. And after that, let's change this to alpha inverted because we want this to be visible outside the box. So here you can see that we have this sort of animation. Now let's select these text layers and the shape layer. And we're going to trim this because we don't want to see it in the beginning. So here you can see that we have the animation. Let's move this really close. Yeah. Yeah. So I think this is looking good. You can probably select these and let's parent this to the null as well. So here you can see that we have created this sort of animation. And now it's completely up to you. If you want to add some more animation, you can do that. But for this one, we are pretty much done with it. Now our last step is to just animate the scale and position of this null. So let's add a keyframes and let's change the scale to something like this. And let's move this little bit up just like that. So select the keyframes, press F9. And on these keyframes, we are going to change the graph to look something like this. So let's select this and just play around with the keyframes. 
so now if i play back here you can see that we have this sort of animation again it's totally up to you you can play around with the position so there you go now you have your animation and if you want you can obviously change the text by simply selecting the text layer and then you can type whatever you want and it will automatically adjust itself according to this so here you can see that we have created some really nice and creative title reveal animation so this is how you can create this kind of text animation so i hope you learned something from this tutorial and the project files for this one are available on patreon so if you are supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you are not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and other exclusive gifts that are available only to patreons so make sure to check out my patreon page as well also if you want to learn more things like these then make sure to subscribe and don't forget to press that bell icon so that you never miss another amazing video like this so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one <laughs>